You know, when you think about life and, and it in general, and um, you think about how people made their living uh, prior to what we call civilization, uh, also commonly referred to as population centers. And if you really truly meditate and you begin to think and comprehend and see all that civilization has done to us, you'll see, if you have the eyes to see, that civilization has been a detriment to you because what civilization has done is take away from you, taken away from you, self-sufficiency. You see, if it wasn't for civilization, if it wasn't for population centers and cities, 90% of you out there could not make a living on your own. It's obvious when you go back throughout the annuals of time in history is that every civilization depends on farmers. Notice I said civilization. But a person that's self, that is self-sufficient, he doesn't depend on somebody else for his livelihood or his living. Why? Because he produces himself. Wherefore, by their fruits, you shall know them. You see, it's one thing to be born um, into a mental slavery. Uh, it's one thing to be born in a soft form of slavery. But it's another thing to stay in that consciousness and never wake up out of that consciousness and never really truly see what's going on. I mean, think about it today. We're sick as a people. Um, and because remember, you cannot make money off a healthy population, make, you make money off a sick population. We are sick as a people because we depend on somebody else for our livelihood. And check this out. And the very people we depend on, we can't even trust. Then we also have to go to the very system that we don't trust for our health and our healing. I think something needs to change. I really truly do. Um, I don't mind. I don't. I really truly don't mind being called all kind of names or, or whatever. Because as my life continues to keep prospering as I get older, I watch others deteriorate simply because they will not change this mind. I don't mind telling you um, that I work hard. I build. I plant. Um, I have faithful people around me that do the same thing. Intelligent people. Um, we work hard. Uh, to produce our own food and to raise our own food. We are an agricultural people. And you beat hard pressed to beat this testimony that I'm getting ready to tell you. I have quite a few people that live around me, ranging from ages 77 years old all the way to actually, I don't know, eight months old. How many other assemblies, churches, church groups, um, camps that can say what I'm getting ready to say right here, homesteads. How many groups do you know that can say that we are not dependent upon the system for our food? That we, not a one of us, is on any prescription drugs. We are relatively a healthy people simply because when we raise our own food, when we grow our own livestock, raise our own livestock, grow our own food, excuse me, the fruit of actually being a laborious agricultural people is showing. It's showing up in our lifestyles. Wherefore, by their fruit, you should know them. Think about this. Really, truly think about this. If the trucks stop running to your town, your city, or your state, how would you fare? And with this information being presented to you, do you not think 
that there's something you need to do in order to change because the very system that you depend on is the very ground beneath your feet that's getting ready to give way and it's already given way. Right now, I guess we are what you would call um, an object of scorn and people in the city, they laugh at us. They do. Uh, I, I think that they call farmers or people who uh, have decided to come out and, and carve out their own living because um, we hunt, we fish. We do a lot of things in order to produce our own food. You know, here straightway, we produce probably about, I guess, 80% of our own food. Somebody is positioning themselves to be wise and others in function are positioning themselves to be fools. Insanity is if you continue to keep doing the same things you've always done, expect change, you deserve exactly what you get. And depending upon this system, this culture that they've given us, and you keep on depending on it and you won't make any moves, you won't do what the warning, I keep warning over and over, and over again, you're going to end up like the people in Zimbabwe. You're going to end up like the people in Venezuela. And it's not going to be anybody's fault but your own.